Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is why I entered the HVACR field. So there's multiple reasons why I entered the field, but I, I really liked uh, working on mechanical things and liked how just objects work and, and how machines worked. So I started thinking about what kind of uh, a career to get into, and I ended up entering the HVACR field at age 19. But the reason that I, I wanted to come into this field was uh, when I was growing up, we had a water heater fail, a heater fail multiple times in our own home, plumbing pipes fail, and we had to hire people out to, to, to fix those. And so I was thinking, you know, wh what does everybody have that needs to be fixed? And that's, and that's furnaces, air conditioning systems, water heaters, and uh, when water lines, all those, those things are objects that fail and that continually need maintenance and to be fixed. So that's the main reason why I wanted to get into this field. And then I also, um, you know, we had to hire somebody to fix those things in our house, but I knew a gentleman in the community that, man, he knew how to fix just about everything. And I looked at him and I said, I want to be like that. You know, when I get older, I want to know how to fix things. I want to know how to be uh, somebody that people rely on. And so, so that kind of started me on my path. And so, I got hired at a local company just by knocking on doors and I was only there for about three months. And you know, when you work for a company, you really want to think about, are you putting your best effort out there in order for them to teach you? Because you really have to check yourself if you're thinking, Hey, they're not teaching me. They're not showing me, you know, what to do, but you really have to think about, are you, are you fulfilling your end of the deal here? You know? Uh, so I, I was really contemplating that and I, I was, I thought I was I was doing a, a good job so but anyway I decided at leaving there and I I went to a different company and so um, that company is where I flourished at so the second company that I started working for after the first several days of the owner just kind of checking me out and seeing you know what I could do uh, he put me with the installation manager of 35 years and once again I just I just grew real quickly and so I asked the that manager, I said, hey, does it bother you if I asked a lot of questions? And, you know, I write them down and, and things like that. I would write them down at lunchtime. And so he said, no, that's fine. You know, he liked to be able to educate people. And so once again, I liked, I looked at him. I'm like, man, that's awesome. You know, he knows what he's doing. He knows, he knows and he's willing to share it. And uh, so I asked questions throughout the whole job, you know, at lunchtime. And I, I asked him, I said, hey, do you mind me asking you during the work time? Because I don't want to slow anything down. And you have to tell me if I'm slowing the, if I'm slowing the work process down. So he said, no, you're, you're doing a good job. And you have to, that's one thing that I was, when I was teaching in the, in the high school. And, and it's, you know, it's good to have conversations. It's good to be able to do things. But you got to monitor yourself to make sure that you are still progressing. You are still finishing the job because you don't want to distract yourself. But anyway, these were questions on, on, the, on the HVACR field. So... I, I grew immensely at this company and I, I really started learning a lot. And so that kind of started me on my path. So I, as I worked there, I was an installation technician and then I, I was working on existing homes and then doing service. And eventually I ended up starting my own business and uh, the, the owner of this company ended up selling his company and, and starting a different one. So that's at that time is when I ended up leaving and starting my own business. So. This, this field has been really rewarding for me and my family, and um, I, I like to pass on my knowledge, the things that I've learned over the years. Uh, I've owned my own business, and then I got the opportunity to start teaching at a technical school for adults and high school students, and and that's been a, that was a huge, huge thing for me because I, I love being able to uh, share share my knowledge with those that are that are getting ready to have a family or already have a family I like to be able to give them the tools in order to support them uh, so that so that they can grow quickly and and like what they're doing for a living and in this field the heating and cooling field or HVACR field what's nice about it is you learn multiple trades so you don't learn just one trade you, you learn a lot about electrical you learn a lot about plumbing and carpentry you got to know where to cut at in a building what's low bearing what's not you know you get to see you start walking into buildings and you can like picture that the sheetrock is going and you know where all the joists are so it's it's kind of one of those types of things where you learn a lot so it's not just one field that you're kind of stuck in you 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 really learn a lot of different fields. And what's nice about that is that you 
learn how to solve a lot of different problems. So, you know, in your own home, you can, if anything breaks, you can fix it uh, for the most part. And um, just in general, knowing how to approach a situation safely and how to troubleshoot something just in life, you know, it's just really helpful. So you get used to doing all those things and it helps you to build confidence and everything else. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. So, uh, so like I said, this, this field has treated me very, very well. And so I, I like to educate others. I like to help others be able to support their families and their future families. And so that's why I ended up getting into teaching and I, I enjoy teaching people uh, just how to do things. I, lo I love the aha moments. If you, if you have an aha moment, either from some of the videos you've watched here or another channel or, uh, you know, with the, the service technician or install technician in the truck riding with you, maybe they've they've uh I've, they've taught you a lot i would love to hear any stories you have down in the comment section below and the reason i i wrote this book here is to be able to uh condense everything down into a sequential manner so i wanted to to make sure i covered every single topic that i could possibly think of in reference to handling refrigerants for air conditioning and heat pump systems so it's all that preparation the steps to do that and uh and working with refrigerants and troubleshooting. So I wanted to get everything down in the sequential manner and everybody learns a little differently. So uh, when you have something written and also you have the videos to go alongside each other, that just helps to, to learn a lot very quickly. So, so once again, if you have any stories on, um, on your aha moments or, or what you thought about that book or the videos in general, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.